Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and I have some really good news, finally! We have it! We have the roadmap for Fallout 76, year 2022! We are closer and closer to actual Great War in Fallout 76, that's a bad news. But now, let's see what they say first and then I will tell you what I think about it. Let's read through it first. Fallout 76 roadmap, make your contact. Battle Robot Gladiators, Journey to the Pit, and more in 2022. We have some really cool graphics. I like the graphics Bethesda does. They're really cool. I like the style. And it says Extraterrestrial Invaders, Autonomous Warriors, Traveling Roadshows, just another year in Appalachia. And here we go through the article. Greetings, Vault Dwellers! 2022 is in full swing and that means another exciting year in Fallout 76 lies ahead. Between dealing with visitors from another planet, trekking outside Appalachia's borders, visiting a traveling roadshow and more, lots of travel will be coming through the area. Good thing, we've got a roadmap. And there it is. We open it bigger, but first let's read what they say about the roadmap. Spring. Appalachia is besieged by outworthy forces in Invaders from Beyond, featuring all new public events and even random encounters of a third kind as you fend off the alien threat with your teammates. Spring will also see a Fallout World's towards update, adding the ability to earn score, plus the release of Season 8, A Better Life Underground. Summer. Don your best armor, weapons and pair cards and step into battle. New public events arrive in Appalachia, including Test Your Metal, featuring arena fights against deadly automatons. This summer also includes upgrades to Fallout first scoreboard progression and new season. By the way, preview of this event you can see already on my channel, I cover it on one of my PTS video. Next, Fall. Go beyond Appalachia's borders in expeditions The Pit. Finally! So bad it's until the fall we need to wait. Okay, carry on, I, I'm reading. Visit post-nuclear Pittsburgh and take on new missions. Engage with new NPCs, battle new falls and of course, earn new rewards. In addition to the pit, players can also look forward to a new season to boot. Season is quite obvious. Winter. The fizziest show on earth comes to Appalachia. Nuka World on Tour introduces a traveling road show to making a stop in the area, toting along a new season, public events and region boss. Step on up, you won't want to miss out on the fun. We hope you are as excited for another year of questing, camping and more as we are. And if any of you are new to the scene, this is a great time to jump on board, grab some friends, pack your bags and make way to irradiated wilderness of Appalachia in Fallout 76 today. Awesome, now take a look on the map and I will tell you everything I think, even if you don't want to hear it. Okay, we are zooming in, Spring, Invaders from Beyond, and here we actually know everything, then I don't know how much commentary needed. Save Appalachia from an otherworldly, all-encompassing invasion, including public event takeovers, new random encounters, a new seasonal public event, and more. And yes, I didn't cover public event takeovers and new random encounters, as this is really cool to encounter yourself, but before this update will drop live on March 1st, I will upload the guides for all new weapons that you'll be able to unlock and for this new public event, then this stuff I will upload. But this other stuff I prefer to... I prefer everyone to encounter themselves or maybe on my live stream, but not a spoiler type video. I don't like story spoilers too much. New public events. They mean seasonal 
invaders from beyond by this description. Fallout World's update, it's not a true update. I would not call it true update. Basically, we'll be able to earn score. That's a full update. That's that. That's, I have nothing positive to say because it does not deserve a spot on the map. It's cool that they did that. It's not a big thing. Season 8, a better life underground. I cannot wait to see exactly how the season looked like. But finally, Vault related team. Took them a while. But finally something we will all enjoy the most. Vaults. Now scrolling over to the summer test your metal. Put your armor, weapons and grid to the test in multiple new heart-pounding public events. Multiple new public events. We only knew, we only know about test your metal. Hmm. There is more. New public events. That's what they say. We know about test your metal. If there is more, I'm all for it. I'm curious. That that's actually we need more public events, regular public events, not seasonal ones. I hope they mean regular public events that will be more than one. Okay, that's a good news. I hope it's not two, at least three, please. Be it at least three new public events and maybe at least one activated manually not on the rotation. I hate the rotation. I'm sorry to say that. I hate the rotation. You need to wait. You never know if the event you want to do will pop up. And when new events will be added, I want to do the new ones. I don't want the old, I want to do the new ones. Okay, we'll see. That's quick rant, both happiness and rant. Followed first scoreboard upgrades. And I will translate it for you guys. More incentive to buy followed first for more rewards from scoreboard. That's how I see it. Is it good? No, it's never good. It's more monetization, but somehow it's put on the roadmap as something good. We'll see how this turn out. That's how I see it at this moment. And season nine was obvious, stay tuned. Therefore, in reality, we have one thing, new public events. I'm not complaining, but I was expecting more. I was expecting summer with the pit. But in the same time, we scroll for the fall. And, and if the pit expeditions will be really good, I'm willing to wait and have almost nothing during the summer. I'm willing to wait if the expeditions will be really good. What they say? Venture beyond the boundaries of Appalachia on missions to the lethal location known only as the Pit. And here on the roadmap, introducing missions, new rewards, season 10, Stay tuned. New rewards and we can see the automatic melee weapon. Auto axe, I think that's what it is. We know barely anything about the pit and missions. Therefore, what this will be, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited and afraid of anything like negative related to these new missions. I hope it will be great. It needs to be a solid chunk of content. That's what I want. And that's what Fallout needs. Is it that? That's such a big question. It's both this incredible anticipation and being slightly scared and afraid that what if this will get delayed? What if this will not be it? That's, that's scary tough. And like, oh, that's such a mixed feelings from Bethesda. Please, Bethesda, tell us more about the pit and expeditions. Give us some more good news. And then we scroll to the winter. The winter, and that's pure excitement. I'm not scared about this one. Only thing I'm scared about if winter will be pushed to 2023. And uh, they like to do it, and I hate it. Let's see if this time they can stick to the winter being winter and not spring next year. Nuka World on tour. The fizziest show on earth has kicked the irradiated dust of the tires and hit the road. Next stop, Appalachia. New public events. Region boss public event. New regional boss. And season 11. It's new Coca-Cola related update with new public boss. New events. 
Oh, come on. What can possibly go wrong? Nothing. It will be great. No matter what it will be. New Coca-Cola themed event. It will be great. It just need to be winter 2022, not 2023. Please do this, Bethesda. Stick to that. Winter 2022. Although we're supposed to have new game from Bethesda around this time, I'm pretty sure you know what game I have in mind. And maybe it will not be so bad, depend how well they are working on this new game. Now, I'm excited. I'm fully excited about this new Kakola stuff. You know that when I was playing Fallout 4, first DLC I always do. New Cowards, new Kakola related stuff. Wow, I'm so I'm so excited about this one. And the new boss, the new boss. We were waiting years for the new boss and we are getting a new boss. Everyone was asking for a new boss. Yeah, full excitement. Now, what I don't see on the roadmap, the one thing I don't see on the roadmap anywhere, what happened? That's my question. What happened with four star legendaries? Are they somehow hidden here? Season 9 and Summer? Just not mention? Should it be 4 star instead of this Fallout first improvement? Did they wanted to stick with just 3 stickers and did it put 4 star? Or they just totally scrapped the 4 star idea? I would like answer to that. 4 star, if you don't know, it was scheduled for winter 2021 and disappeared entirely from any roadmap. What do you guys think? That's the roadmap. What do you guys think? I cannot wait for your comments. Are you as excited and simultaneously scared as the turtle is, as I am? I'm the turtle. Or not? Tufts? Any? Excitement? Anticipation? Let me know. I will just stare it a bit longer for copy and bottle, and I wish you all good day, and as always, see you in the next one.